Hey, good morning, CCA uh, Intermediate Algebra students. So today's con, uh, function inputs and outputs equation, um, I'm going to teach you how to do it and then tell you I don't want you to do it that way. I know that seems really weird, um, but it gets us into a lesson that we're actually going to miss um, because of the COVID-19, one of the lessons we miss in the book, but I think it's really important um, that you cover it because it's a very efficient way of doing math. Um, so I want to teach that to you today. So um, here's what you're doing in this one. So when they say the g of x equals this 8x plus 2, and then they tell you that they want to know the answer of what does x equal to get you to 62, basically what they're telling you to do is set up the equation where this goes on one side, as you can see I put right here, and this goes on the other side right here, okay? And then I know, what have you always done in the past? Well, we've always solved this then by doing, we'll subtract 2 from both sides to get to this answer, and then we divide by 8 to get to this answer, okay? So that's how you do it, and if you need to do it this way, okay, that's fine, you can. But I want to teach you a different way. So, for example, when I did this Khan Academy uh, today before I put this video together for you, um, I literally did this Khan Academy, and I think it took me somewhere between 10 and 12 seconds to do all four of these. I'm not kidding you. Um, it is very simple. You don't have to go through all these steps every time when we're talking about simple equations. If I want to think in my head that this has to equal negative 62, Okay, so I'm like going something plus 2 equals negative 62. Well, what plus 2 equals negative 62? You'd probably in your head go, well, negative 64 plus 2 would equal negative 62, which is kind of where you get at right here. And then you go, okay, well, what times positive 8 equals negative 64? Well, negative 8 would equal negative 64. Boom, there's your answer. Okay. So, we're going to try this next one. I'm going to show you how to do it algebraically, but let's try it first just thinking about this. Something plus negative 1 equals negative 8. Something plus negative 1 equals negative 8. What plus negative 1 equals negative 8? Hopefully you're saying to yourself, well, negative 7 is. So then negative 7 times what equals negative 7? Negative 7 times what equals negative 7? Hopefully you're saying to yourself, well, wouldn't that just be 1? Yeah, it would be. So if we solve it algebraically to prove it, we could set this equation up to negative 7 minus 1 equals negative 8. We add 1 to both sides, we get negative 7 equals negative 7. Divide both sides by negative 7, we get x equals 1. But doing this work takes <clears throat> not a ton of time, but it takes more time. And you're now at a point, you should be more efficient with your thoughts and how to do this, where you can do a lot of these steps in your head. And so I'm actually asking you to try and do this con today without doing this work. Now, if you can't do it, if you're struggling with it, no worries. But eventually, I'd like to see you get there. So if you need to do this work over here, go ahead and do it. But I would like to see you try to do this without doing the work over there um, and see how fast and efficient you can be with getting that done. Um, hopefully, that goes well for you. This con, like I said, took me about 12 seconds. So um, some of you, it may take you a good you know, 30, maybe 40, 50 seconds um, uh, if you're having a bad day. So anyway, I'm kidding. It might take you more than 50 seconds. But I'm just saying this one should go pretty quick. Hey, have a great day, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.